All right, so I'm really liking the setup that we're seeing right now on Spell Token. Uh, first of all, in the macro term, like I've been saying for a while, I do believe we have bottomed around this region down here. Uh, you can see the four hourly EMAs flipped along, and this was pretty much your bottoming signal down here. So uh, for Spell Token specifically, this is the first time I'm using momentum indicators, as I believe they'll have much more value than just looking at the RSI and the RSI, oh, the RSI and the MFI like we normally do. So if we look at what's going on right now, draw drawing our microfib from low to high. We had a pretty perfect back test of the 786 and I said as long as we hold this 786 then I would expect another move to the upside and uh, you can basically see we're now shattering above the 618 and we, we managed to not flip the 4 hourly EMAs bearish so right now i think we're looking really good obviously i'm gonna to have to get rid of this because this never played out uh, but if we look at what's going on uh, we are building momentum back to the upside in my opinion the four hourly emas are starting to turn up and if we look at the squeeze mom momentum indicator uh, this really only flipped red once we had this correction back to the 786 and since then we have been losing uh, selling volume i mean we can basically see on the charts here there is really no selling volume right now for spell token so i do believe the correction is over and if we look at the bearish momentum to the downside on the squeeze mom, uh, it is starting to head back up. So I do imagine within the next day or so, uh, we could be seeing another run up for uh, for spell token, specifically because all the momentum indicators, they're, they're really starting to head up. And we've had a really nice impulse off both the 786. We shattered through this 618 very nicely. I mean... Uh, we came up to it here, this was strong resistance, and then on the second try we just completely broke through it. And we're up above the short term moving average on the EMA, so I, I really think Spell is, is really setting up for a nice move. Now, in, in terms of the macro term, uh, nothing really has changed since my last video. I have been saying this is the most important level to break, uh, there's multiple reasons why, uh, but just really the basic rundown of it, this is the most macro low in my opinion and also we have this kind of M pattern which we've obviously already fulfilled the target of uh, but I do believe that this is just going to be like the cherry on the top uh, where this is going to add a tiny bit more resistance I mean the, the main reason why is really this massive macro low down here you can see we were in a trajectory of a low um, we, we had the all-time high up here and then we started putting in uh, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. And in my opinion, this, this downwards macro tra trajectory is going to be invalidated once we break above 0 0.0061. So I'm really keeping my eyes on this macro low down here. You can see this is the, the wick all the way down here. And we're heading up to it strongly. So... I said this before i necessarily wouldn't be too worried if we broke if we didn't break it on the first time because this is a super super strong level of resistance and personally i am looking to uh, get into spell uh, because the market cap is is pretty dirt cheap compared to a lot of other altcoins i mean this is 400 million and i mean you, you could debate whether that's dirt cheap or not obviously i'd like 400 million that'd be a lot to me uh, but in terms of altcoins that are pretty well known uh, especially considering spell is on you know a plethora of exchanges i really don't think this has uh i don't know why it's not coming up oh am i searching under indicators that's why so if we check out what it's on i mean you can see this is on binance coinbase ftx bybit uh i've never even heard of this exchange i'm not gonna lie i don't, don't even want to try and pronounce that gemini bittrex and yeah, I mean, Kraken, Poloniex, I mean, this is on a plethora of exchanges, including SushiSwap. So I, I really do think um, that, you know, this is going to be a very good play in the short term. And looking at the momentum indicators, we're, I mean, we're still picking up to the upside on the daily. It looks like we're having a slight correction. Uh, but I do think this is going to start to switch over and start to pump again uh, in maybe about a day, a day and a half, two days, once this four hourly squeeze momentum indicator starts to head back to the upside so really just a quick and simple video uh, the momentum looks like it's picking up and we're heading back to the upside but nonetheless i, I really want to see a daily close above 0 0.006 this is your moon line in my opinion and uh, the reason why i think it'd be such a, a nice position to make a trade from in my opinion is because we would have flipped uh i mean this this lines up nicely we, we'd be above all of the uh moving indicate or we'd be above all of the moving averages on the EMA ribbon on the daily and we, we could basically after we take out this 
that there's really not much in the way apart from the first fib and I don't think it's too much to ask after we've had this huge huge macro downtrend to have a pump up to the first Fibonacci I mean I'm only like trading up to the two point uh, to the two three six. It's not like I'm saying, oh, I want to trade up to the six one eight or the point five. I'm literally just trading this up to the first Fibonacci, and from the breakout, that's a ninety percent trade. So I think the risk to reward ratio uh, on this trade is very good. Obviously, this isn't financial advice. This is basically just my own trading plan and how I plan on navigating the market. But yeah, I mean, spell it looks really good compared to a lot of altcoins that I'm covering right now. Now, the only slightly thing uh, slightly bad thing that i can say to dampen this parade is i i do kind of think that bitcoin could be setting up for a fake out now there's a few reasons why i mean we've broken back below the 44,500, which is a key area of support but we're also setting up an m pattern so i could imagine this could come as high as 44,500 in the next day or so before having a quick flush out potentially even to as low as 40,000, which I i'm not like 100 percent convinced we would be coming down to there i mean we could have a quick fake out to you know anywhere in this vicinity really um i'm ve i'm very macro bullish on bitcoin but i'm just looking at this in the short term objectively and i mean the momentum is very much picking to the downside and on the four hourly we have got a short signal and we are kind of heading back up to the short term moving average so we could be getting setting up for a uh, a fake out where we do come back up to the short term moving average and potentially 44,500, and then set up a quick rejection for a flush to the downside and i believe that would carry a lot of the altcoins to the downside with it spell included but you know nonetheless this really all depends on whether we're able to get above the 0 0.006 in my opinion i think once it's solidly above that i'd be a lot more confident to make a trade i mean that's that's all i really have to say about it uh, but once again i mean even in the short term and the long term you know short term specifically on the four hourly i mean we're heading up above these ema ribbons so it, it looks really good to me in my opinion you know this was really the bottom we we've been perfectly back testing these ema ribbons ever since and you know i'm not too worried that we uh, kind of wicked below these quickly because we've done it a few times and then picked up momentum back to the upside so i really think we're about to have uh, a pump in the next coming days i would just be slightly cautious i'd be looking for a daily close above the 6117 uh before i did enter a trade and i think we would be you know mostly in the clear once we're above there so that is all i see for spell token best of luck once again none of this is financial advice just my opinion on the market and you've always got to do what's best for you cowboy out peace